So how old is too old to have a baby using IVF? It's a question I posed to Dr. Supriya Puranik, a fertility expert in India. I've not yet decided because in India there is no law up till now what should be in the upper limit. Almost 15% of Dr. Puranik's patients are aged between 40 and 55, due, she says, to a tendency for Indian couples to try Ayurvedic and other alternative medicines before turning to IVF later in life. Earlier this year, Dr. Puranik carried out one of the world's most extraordinary IVF uses so far, twins born to a surrogate using the sperm of a dead man called Prathamesh. I made a photo wall of him. I kept his things in his room, but I wanted a living memory of him. I'd walk around with his picture. I'd feed the photo, put the photo to sleep. The photo was my Prathamesh. I was psychologically stable, but I couldn't live without him. After his death, I needed a reason to live. That's Prathamesh's mother, Rajeshri Patil, who came up with the idea to use her dead son's sperm to create her grandchildren. Prathamesh was a student in Germany when he was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. He died in September 2016. Mrs. Bartle remembered that Prathamesh had had his sperm sample frozen before his chemotherapy treatment began, just in case he wanted to start a family in the future. And so she thought, Let's use IVF to bring Prathamesh back. They're his cells. This would be him. Mrs. Bartle, 49 at the time, then went to meet Dr. Puranik. She said to me that, Doctor, I have a soul. I have his soul with me. We just needed a body to get him back. My God. So these words gave me literally a goosebumps all over. And from that day onwards, Dr. Puranik was determined to make Mrs. Patil's wish come true. She found an egg donor and Mrs. Patil asked her son's 38-year-old auntie to take on the pregnancy. And finally, the sperms arrived. When they arrived, we were too nervous to even open it up. What could be the condition of those sperms? because everything was based on emotion. The pregnancy resulted in twins, a little boy and girl. They're still young, but when they grow up, they will call me mama. I didn't want grandchildren. I wanted my son back. I only see him in them. India is no stranger to the idea of assisted conception. Hindu mythology is full of miraculous births. So for some, like Rajeshri Patil and her family, friends and neighbours who celebrated the arrival of the twins, the idea of science giving God a helping hand was nothing out of the ordinary. This is a miracle. God has given Prathamash back and I'm indebted to IVF and Dr Pranik. There's science and then there's my faith in God. <laughs> 